So okay. Ready? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome. Uh, little fun day today. We got the high five and a Raptor XL. And I'm, I have the rear one on here. Simply so I can use the serial port to go directly to the focus bug, it's one cable. But also so I can connect the camera port to the control port of the Red Raptor. That allows me to do this fun thing. So now I can actually control the frame rate, the EI, the white balance, and the shutter right from the handset of the Hi Fi. For example, if I want to change the frame rate, I could change it to, uh, let's see, 23976. Right now this says 95.9, and oops, that's 2398. And all I did was click the button here. I'm gonna change it back so I don't forget to 95.9. Oops, and 95.9. So that's really nice. I have some control of the camera from my Hi5 handset just with one cable uh, that's going into the cam port of the rear. It could also go into the port on the C-Force Mini RF motor. It just needs to go into a cam port somewhere. So that's one cool thing. The other cool thing I want to show you, and so this motor, by the way, is, is in client mode, and I'm using the RIA as the host. So you see H1, that's host one connected on the RIA. The other cool thing I want to show you guys is if you come over this side, or I can turn this, this way, is this C-Force Mini motor. You see the blue symbol? That means it's in a encoder mode. Uh, you can learn more about the modes on the Ari's YouTube uh, tech, tech Talk channel, which uh, my lovely, crazy Australian friend Sean Dooley manages, and he explains it much better than I do. But the fun thing is, in the encoder mode, on my um, on my page, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to just just lodge this for one second here. I'm going to calibrate this motor. And on my handset, you see there's no iris indication right now. So I'm just going to calibrate that motor there. So that's calibrated. And I'm now going to put this motor back on. on the handset that I now have the iris indicator so this motor is just freewheeling all it's doing is encoding that lens and giving me the data on my handset which is awesome so when the, the tech who's controlling the iris changes the iris position on the on the motor so for example if if, if they change the iris to let's say 1.2 to 2 it'll show up on my handset as 2 my depth of field changes here if they go to 22, you can see my depth of field changes again, and it shows me 22. So that's really that's a pretty sweet feature that I'm enjoying on this uh, RE encoder thing. And uh, here's the the wonderful Nikon, I mean uh, Red uh, V Raptor X. Hope you have a good day on set. I'll see you soon.